Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase. Today we are going to learn how to send the web push notifications using the Firebase cloud messaging. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to give you the demo. So let me open the close the server and just go live. So let me just copy this URL and let me go to my Chrome browser, open it. So here I will just receive generate token. So here you can see that I'm able to get the token. So let me go just copy this token and go to my messaging section. And here I need to just send a message. So new campaign, notifications, hello, Rajni Kant. My name is Technical Rajni Kant. My cast I will also put. Okay, send message. And here I'm asking for the FCM token. Let's add it and like try to send it. And here you can see is there something went wrong? I think I sent this notifications. It is enabled to accept the notification and to check first. Notification is on. Oh, no, uh, here we can see that. Reset permissions. Okay. Reload. Generate. Allow. Okay. Let's try to send the notification. There is another method also to send the notifications. Here you can see send success and here you can see that hello title hello technical rajni so this is the because here you can see in the firebase i have mentioned this one right so whenever there is a browser open also you can send the message from here also let me check the token is correct or not it is tq let's have a look at the send message okay let's try to edit right and try to test on the device Let me open this URL in here. Okay, let's check this. Okay, generate token. Send success. Let me go to the browser and let's have a check on that. Send let the token. Maybe I am on the different browser. Let's try to add this token. Let me just hide this first. Test. I have checked and it's working fine. You can see, hello Rajnikan, my name is Technical Rajnikan Chaudhary. Here you can see it's received because I'm on the different browser currently, right? So whenever I try to just close it up, the browser, definitely I received the, that part also. Here you can see, hello title from the Technical Rajni, right? So how we are going to do that in the JavaScript, we are going to learn in this, this video. Let's get started. So first of all, you come to know about that one. You have a Firebase account, which I'm not going to show you like how to create that account. So if you don't know how to create that account, so please go and watch my previous videos, like how to create the Firebase account, right? So basically it's not a big deal. So here you can see that we have a project. Let's add the project. And here you have to pass each and every details. Okay. So by doing this one, this kind of layout will be working, right? And here click on the web app. Here we require the credentials of that one. So this much credentials we require. So this one, okay, so this is requirement. And another thing that is we require the cloud messaging part, so that is a server key. So how to create the server key? Uh, already I have explained in my previous video, so make sure that should be enabled, right? Okay, done. Let's go to our code base, okay? So let me just go over here. So the requirement is the index.html file. So here we have the subscribe button to generate the token, okay? And here we have the Firebase scripts that we have to add. Okay, nothing much more on that. Then we have an app.js file where we have initialized the Firebase. So Firebase configurations we have done over here. And now after that, initialize the Firebase app, cloud messaging. Here we are checking that registering the service worker. If it is registered, if it is not registered, so it will work on that to send the notifications on the behalf of service worker, right? Then we have a subscribe to push notifications. So notification request permission that is required to allow the notification browser. So this is that for that one. Okay. 
so make sure you have the subscribe for that notification when i click on this button it give me that allow here you can see when i click on the subscribe button what will happen so here you can see in the subscribe button the request permission will open like uh, allow or disallow so if you granted the permissions then we will generate the token and on the behalf of token we are going to send the push notifications in the browser okay so here another one that we have the hello world from, uh, message from the technical rajni this is the different one for the sending the push notifications okay so this is not required because uh, this part for sending the push notification from the fcm i am doing from the postman okay so yeah this is done okay and after that we have a main file that is sws okay so here you can see that we have add the file that is sws register the service worker okay so here we have the main file so whenever i'm in the background i am opening my browser so it will come the firebase notification make sure you have to import the scripts this is the firebase configuration which is i'm copying pasting from here journal message right so that one okay so this is the configuration details you need to put it over here okay next section that we have a firebase initialize the firebase config then firebase messaging set background message handler make sure whenever there is a um, background so show the notification with the data body icon okay and the title right and um, listen the messages when the app is in foreground so this is that code okay so you have to add the on message we need to send the payload what the message received then uh, extract the title body icon click action whatever you have then show the notification with the help of the self dot registration show notification title and the notification options okay after doing this you are able to get the notifications push notification in a browser in the firebase javascript okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day